Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on the video. All the commands in this video will be the same irrespective of your operating system. So on Linux, open up a terminal emulator and on Windows, open up command prompt. So the first thing you want to do is enable developer mode. So you just go into settings and then you go down to about phone and then this build number here, you just tap on it a few times. And then for me, it says no need, you're already a developer, but that would um, enable developer mode for you. Then I had to search for this because I couldn't find it, but if you search USB debugging, it will take you right to it, and then you can just enable it here, USB debugging, and then you want to click OK, and then you've got USB debugging enabled. You also want to do the same thing for OEM unlocking, so you just want to make sure that that's on as well, and then you want to enable it. Make sure that you have ADB and Fastboot installed on your computer. If you're on any Arch-based distribution, then the package name which contains them is Android Dash Tools, and you can install it with Pac-Man. If you're on Windows or anything like that, then I'll put a link in the description to where you can download and install it. After that, you want to make sure that you've downloaded the recovery image for the file and the file itself from the Lineage US website, which I'll link in the description. We're downloading the dumpling file because we're using the OnePlus 5T. If you're using the regular OnePlus 5, then you'll do the cheeseburger one. Also, on the Lineage US website, you'll find the SHA-256 um, hash for both of the files, and so you can check their integrity. This is more of an optional step if you want to. And then after that, you want to plug in your phone and you want to run ADB devices to check that the uh, computer has recognized your phone. And as you can see, I've got um, under attached, I've got device. If you see unauthorized, uh, then what you want to do is to unplug the phone and then plug it back in and you uh, run rerun ADB devices and you should see something which says allow USB debugging and then it will tell you what the RSA key fingerprint is for your computer and then you can just click allow. To unlock the bootloader, you want to run ADB reboot bootloader and then on the phone you want to boot into fastboot. You do that by holding down the power and the volume up key at the same time. And you should check, and it says device state locked at the bottom. Back on the computer, you run fastboot um, devices to make sure that the computer still recognizes your phone. And as you can see, it still recognizes my phone. After that, you can then run fastboot OEM unlock, and this will unlock the bootloader. Then you want to reboot into fastboot, and now you can see it says device state unlocked. So then you'll want to flash the new recovery image by using fastboot flash recovery and then the name of the recovery image. Now you'll want to reboot into fastboot mode again and then you'll want to select uh, using the volume keys and the power button to recovery mode and then boot into recovery mode. You want to select continue. Uh, it's just a message saying that you've unlocked the bootloader, which is, of course is what you want to do. Once in recovery mode, uh, you want to select factory reset, and then you want to select each one of these three in turn, and you should see a message here saying that they've occurred. I'm just going to go back, because uh, I've already done this, and then apply update, and then apply from ADB. After that, you want to sideload the Linux OS package by using ADB sideload and then the name of the package, and it's the .zip package. So then after that, it should say in the terminal, TotalX FER is 1.00x, but it is a common issue that it stops at 47%, and it can say things like ADB fail to read command, but then still say success, or it can say things like ADB fail to read command and then no error, or other things. Uh, but it should also say something here like uh, installation success or in, um, successfully installed. Um, it doesn't say that for me because I've already installed it. But once you've done that, you can just go back and then you can just, uh, it's just going to focus and then you can just say uh, reboot system now and then it will reboot the system. And then you again, do and as you can see, it's booting into Linux OS. Uh, now, for you, it will go through setting up Lineage OS. I've already set up Lineage OS on my phone, so it's just taking me to my home screen.
Thank you very much for watching the video and if you've got any questions just let me know in the comments.